Let's move it. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters Sabal Khair from Burlington, Colorado We are right at the border of Colorado and Kansas and we are about to head to Hayes, Hayes, Kansas We're going to a masjid that doesn't have any contact information and is in the middle of nowhere So two hours and 15 minutes, we have around 165 miles to Hayes, Kansas. I'm very curious because that's basically the first masjid coming all the way from Denver towards Kansas. So, we were talking about the empty belt of America. As you can see, this area is extremely windy. That explains all these wind fans, wind panels, wind turbines. Because of that, it makes sense why a lot of people do not live here. I entered Kansas for the first time in my life in 92 degrees. My God, look at that. a lot of livestock and a lot of strong smells <laughs> just stopped here because I needed a little break to stretch a little bit it says Denver right there nope not yet this came out of Denver man the winds are strong everywhere in Kansas huh and I'm looking around and all I see are sunflowers and the road this massive pile of sunflower seeds and the ants are going at it like, oh my god what is that that's a massive beetle oh my goodness man i think i need to move i don't want anything crawling up on my let's go let's do this oh gloves okay forgot to wear the gloves first day at work huh We are entering Kansas. This is it. This is it. Colorado, baby. That means we have officially entered this great state of Kansas. Buckle up, Kansas law. Kansas law, man. You don't want to mess with Kansas law. <laughs> Every time you leave your home state, it feels different. It really is mid America. There is a place which is right in the middle of the country who cops. Cops are on to somebody. That's why when you enter another state, you want to be careful because the cops are always on the lookout for these out-of-state people. Make some money. All right, let's go check out the travel center. On the other side, travel information center. And I think we might do this on a regular basis. Travel center. Kansas. And that's what the flag looks like. It has Kansas written over it. Where do you go inside? This is the map of Kansas. Here somewhere, somewhere here. Right? Oh, up here, here. Hayes, and then we're going to Manhattan. Any person in a state operating a motorcycle which is registered shall be the holder of Class M. Yeah, I got Class M. Kansas. Hit the road with the family. Oh. Good morning. What is this? I-70's 50th anniversary. Oh, you got this in Kansas? This is a very nice visitor center actually. Manhattan. Oh, there's a full guide I can take for Manhattan? No. Come on. Oh, there's a lot to do in Manhattan actually. And then finally, we will arrive in Kansas City. What is that? Wild sunflower seeds. Man, they really love uh, Eisenhower. What is this? The military? Oh man, that cow is taking a bath. SubhanAllah. 43 miles to go. 40 minutes. Oof. The hands are feeling it. What a first day. Riding is not easy, man. <laughs> I don't know how people have so much stamina to ride all the time. It's tough, man. It's hard. Kansas winds are beating me up. But did you notice one thing? There's hardly been a single major city that came on the way. Absolutely nothing. Empty. How are Muslims living here? Oh, 
All right, everybody. We just entered Hayes, Kansas. And we are just five minutes away from the masjid. So let's talk about Hayes real quick. So Hayes used to be one of the outlaw towns. All right, this is where all the outlaws, the criminals, bad cowboys, all of them used to live. But it's still not that bad because Buffalo Bill, the legendary cowboy, American cowboy, used to hang out here as well. So it was a pretty famous town, not only for outlaws, but also for the good guys, I guess. As you can see there's not a lot of stop signs here, but a lot of roundabouts, which we are used to back in Pakistan and Asia, but not here in America. So a lot of shooting, criminal activity, going on back in those days a lot of people who used to take advantage of innocent people who were going towards the west but all of that died away but no, all of that was like a hundred years ago after that Hayes kind of lost its reputation lost its value and now all I see here is that it is a town in the middle of nowhere but they seem to have everything they seem to have it all going on they have a uh, furniture I, I don't know which company is that I've never heard of that wireless company you know gas stations and Walgreens and whatever that is so this is our first major city since we left Denver in the morning it's almost 2 p.m. and I left at 6 a.m. so yeah I am super tired it's 104 degrees I haven't had breakfast proper breakfast I haven't had proper lunch yet just want to go to the first masjid make wudu and pray dohar and after that we can have lunch inshallah hopefully there's a halal restaurant in Hayes and the cemetery in the middle of the main road it's a good reminder though for everybody you know have your Japanese food and take a look at your future I'm just gonna turn on 23rd Street and uh, hopefully the masjid is supposed to be here this is the masjid oh that's the masjid masjid of Hayes I see it I see it supposed to get in from here I guess this is it Masjid of Hayes first Masjid Ooh. oh god this is our first Masjid seems like the door is closed is there a bell or what what is that It's open. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Masjid Hayes. Made it to the Masjid. Alhamdulillah. I don't know where the entrance is. I think it's this way. Uh, there's like a doorbell over there. Okay, the bell is missing. I guess it's closed then. Alright, so it seems like I'm the only one here. I'm gonna make wudu and pray in this beautiful house of Allah. The first masjid in the middle of Denver and Kansas, Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of nowhere, having a masjid in the middle of nowhere, basically having your own house is where you can relax, calm down, talk to God. Alhamdulillah, yeah. Alright everybody, I just prayed uh, Zohar and as you can see I am feeling much better, much relaxed, Alhamdulillah, very much at peace. And we are here at Masjid of Hayes. Let me give you a quick tour. This is of course the most beautiful view in the whole world. The Kaaba. MashaAllah. Yeah. There's an AC, there's a TV, there's the Quran. And this is of course the sister's praying area. Completely separate with privacy. This is the kitchen as you saw in the beginning. Mashallah, you can put your sadaqa right here for zakat, for the masjid, and for the sadaqa jariya. You can help yourself with coffee, with water, whatever you'd like. Alhamdulillah. It has everything, just enough. Most important thing is, of course, the praying area, as you all know. The kitchen is, is an added bonus. For people who are traveling, they can just hang out here 
and they can just read the Quran, relax, maybe even take a nap. I was really hoping that I got I get to meet some brothers and sisters, but unfortunately nobody's here. But Alhamdulillah, the best thing they did was keep the masjid open, which is very, very important, especially for travelers. Masjid of His has been a pleasant experience. If you know anybody who lives here, who has an experience, please comment down below. I wonder if they have water here, because I'm almost out. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this, the barakah. Allahu Akbar and some other stuff if you need to have a small And this community knows what's up. You know how they talk about the hadith, about the importance of taking care of the musafir, the traveler, and this is exactly what they've done. They have no idea how much this water is valuable to me right now because I do not want to go to Walmart or Kroger or whatever. I just want some water in the house of Allah. And I need to go to the next house of Allah. So, Jazakallah khair to the brothers and sisters. Oh, who put water and, here? Uh, let's get moving. We have to go to Manhattan, Kansas.